Welcome back to the Frostbite YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? What, what is this place? This is a small space um, that we rented last year. We've got big news for Frostbite and we want to kind of update you guys. The whole reason for this channel is not just to make awesome fishing content, but to show you guys exactly what you're getting, what type of product you're getting, and explain our company to you guys because we're trying to deliver the best quality product for the cheapest price directly to your door. So anyways, this is Frostbite, this is the old HQ. We've got some dinner bells, some little dinner bells. The big ones haven't come in yet, and we were supposed to actually launch the website yesterday, October 15th, and this video is gonna be the reasons why we had to delay it, as well as some kind of interesting backstory about one of the members, Travis, who paints our jigs. And one side of me, it's like sad, and I'm kind of like, we're leaving a space that we've grown in that we kind of started our company and we were able to build it to this level. And now we're going into a space to hopefully grow it to the next level and really get you guys some awesome products. But we're gonna head over to the new space right now. We just kind of wanted to start the video here and kind of remiss, reminiscent, uh, you know, remi what, what word am I looking for, Cal? Rem um, reminisce on the past. Reminisce on the past is what I'm looking for. Cal's behind the camera. Let's get to the new space. Welcome to the new Frostbite HQ. You know, follow me guys, follow me. Just first though, just do a little. There's a lot of sh crazy amount of stuff in here. So we're in the process of moving, which has kind of been an issue because of something back here. This is a lot of our new product. This is, you know, this is like bins for stacking, but this is a lot of the stuff from Russia. This is where we get our plastics made, high quality hand poured plastics, and that is all plastics right there. The rods which are here, they haven't arrived yet. And that's something I wanted to talk to you guys about because we're gonna be uploading new products weekly. So some stuff will be up now, some stuff will be up later. You guys are just gonna have to stay tuned and stay glued to the website. Here's something pretty cool. This will be the most high quality rod you could possibly buy for the price with a super high quality handle, guides, the blank, all designed by Aaron Weave himself. Oh my God. They're just so, so good. And um, we've got recoils. We've got two different rod um, series coming out. We've got the burnt series as well as the recoil edition. It doesn't have the handle on there. That makes it a little bit lighter. Those are the two rods. I'm not going to go like into really a lot of detail about them because I want Aaron to do that. And Aaron's going to make a video about that on this channel about where he goes over all the rods. We have nine different actions coming out. So these are all our jigs. And uh, we'll just do a little warehouse tour. Might as well do a little warehouse tour, right? So we've got this space here, and we're not really sure what we're gonna do with this space. Um, we're going to definitely sand these walls, hopefully paint a black. We wanna paint a black striper along there and put some frostbite logos, but that's just my creative side and some stuff I wanna do to make. It's potentially a storefront or an area where we can host a meetup and do stuff like that up front here. Um, but this is, this is the real reason why we got this place. And we didn't expect this to happen, but we're gonna throw some videos up on the screen of what it kind of looked like before. Some I don't even know if we have videos, but we have pictures of the floor. There was old, grimy carpet. It smelled. It was just gross. So, Cal and I attempted to clean it ourselves. That didn't work. <laughs> Luckily, we found somebody yesterday, and that's kind of what delayed the whole process. But this is the back area. Wow, this floor looks amazing. I, you, I, we threw some pictures on the screen, but the floor was just gross. Um, so this was the floor. Just like old carpet glue, it smelled, there was carpet. It was just gross. And now look, it's nice concrete. And this is essentially our warehouse space. We've got close to 3,000 square feet here. We're gonna have racks going up here, all the products. The rods have not landed. We have a bunch of rods to make sure every single person, if they want to buy a rod, can buy a rod. We have the dinner bell spoons coming, which should be around by next week, as well as the tantrum. So we've got three of our flagship products going to be released in the next couple weeks, and that's what's really going to fill this warehouse space up. But we're in the transition of moving, and that's why we're going to shoot you guys over right now to Travis. So Travis is... You guys saw him in our last video. He was wearing the red sunglasses. Funny dude. He makes all of our custom jigs. And we're gonna show you guys a video of him right now making a custom jig. Travis, how's it going in Iowa? Hey everybody, welcome to the first custom shop session. Today we're gonna take a look at painting tungsten. We'll do one of the snake belly patterns today. 
First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the belly on it, which has the uh, crack effect. It's pretty simple, a matter of heating the tungsten up to make it hot enough for the powder paint to adhere to it. So we got a heat gun over here. We're going to crank it on and let it heat up. And we're going to take our powder. I've got a brush, just a cheapo art brush. Dip it in the powder, load up the brush with some of the powder in it. And then we're going to heat the jig for a few seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. And we're gonna tap the finger on there, load up some of the power, let it heat a little bit, go back over to the heat, hold it over for a second or so, and now that's applied. Now that isn't the final product, obviously. We gotta cook it to make the crackle effect happen. The effect comes out with heat, and it, as it changes at a molecular level, it'll adhere extremely well. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 10 minutes to cure the powder paint. Uh, we wanna make sure that that adheres and doesn't move when we put the eyes on. I use a rotisserie oven to rotate the baits so the paint doesn't run as it's curing. As it heats up, it, if it's on thick, it could tend to run a little bit if it's stationary, due to gravity, obviously. And we don't want that to happen. We want it to stay where we put it. Ding! Fries are done. Let's put on our gloves. It's gonna be hot. There they are, cured. We'll let them cool off for a few minutes before we get them out. Okay, so now we have our tungsten cured partially. The paint will not be moving. Um, we're gonna go ahead and apply the details at least start them. We're gonna do the eyes first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our powder water. We're gonna use black. We're gonna use a round object because we wanna make a round eyelet. Um, we dip it and then we touch it onto the jig and then we'll flip over and we'll repeat that process on the other side and we're going to let it sit level here for a minute so the powder water quickly evaporates out of the, the powder paint leaving the powder paint clinging to the jig and then we're going to have to put it back in the oven to set it so it doesn't move again or get knocked off of the jig when we apply the second color for the eye. We're just gonna do about five minutes, and when we're done with that, we'll come back and put the uh, pupil on the eye. Well, the jig is done. Now that the jig is cooled, we're gonna go ahead and dot the pupil, and then we'll have to put it back in the oven again for final cure. Okay, the last step in the process is to put a, a hard, durable clear coat on the jig to protect the paint that's on it, to protect the jig in general. It also gives it depth and some clarity and a nice gloss finish. Hey, everybody likes a good looking jig too, so even the fish. So we're gonna take a resin. This is a UV resin that I use. I've used many different resins. Um, I've settled on a couple that I prefer now. Try not to get any in the hook eye so we don't have to clean it later. If you want a tougher finish, you just apply more coats. Once you have that applied, we're gonna use the one of our frostbite UV lights. I actually use these to cure the resin because they're so powerful. Just hit it for a few seconds and that'll set it so it won't move. And then we'll do a full UV cure over about a half an hour. And when that's done, the jig is done and ready to go. As you can see, it's pretty intensive to do all that, but I hope you enjoy the video. That's all from here. So that was the jig making process, thanks to Travis. He's in Iowa, so what happens is he actually ships the jigs to here. Obviously, this isn't ideal, um, like our area that we're working with right now, but the jigs get sent here. One of my personal favorites, UFO. Look at that detail right there. Just such high quality and amazing stuff. But I'm gonna now take over the camera, introduce you guys to Cal. What's up, guys? That's Cal, and he's gonna help also with making videos as well as this is what he does. He helps pack the jigs once they, once they come. So here's a kind of little packing tutorial. So, and then this goes right to you guys every time you order a jig, and that's how we do it. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to today's episode. Um, different than the first four episodes, but that's what this channel is about. Every Wednesday, bringing you some sort of content, what we're doing over at Frostbite. So hopefully we get some ice shit soon. You know, the temperatures are starting to drop. And there's definitely going to be some ice fishing shortly. So stay tuned. Thank you guys again. And we will catch you guys on the next episode of Frostbite.